is your Samsung smart refrigerator's ice maker frozen solid and not working as it should? Well, don't worry, you're not alone. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a simple step-by-step -step guide on how to defrost your ice maker and get it back to making ice in no time. Whether you're dealing with a minor frost or a complete freeze up, we've got you covered. So let's get started. Okay, here are the step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this. It's kind of kind of hidden on here. So this is uh, what the menu looks like. Um, you, you know, you just swipe over. But you want to try to find the icon that says Fridge Manager. It may look a little bit different uh, depending on which smart model that you have of the Samsung refrigerators. Mine, it looks like this. So just look for the one that has like your fridge temperature and stuff. And what you're going to want to do is tap on it. It'll bring you to a screen that might look something like this. It says fridge manager. It's got the temperature and then the freezer temperature here. But this is a screen that you're going to want to go to. Now, I need to put this camera on a tripod so I can use both hands. And I'll show you guys how you can manually do this. Okay, once you're on this screen here, you're going to want to take your two fingers and go side to side. Bam, and it takes it and puts it into engineering mode just like that. As you see, I only had to hit it a few different times to get this secret screen, if you will. Okay, now from here on the list of selections, you're gonna to wanna to click on Fridge Function Test. Now it'll take you to this list down here. And now your refrigerator may look a little bit different, might be a little bit darker, um, but this particular model, it looks like this. Down here on the bottom, you'll have a few different selections. You're gonna to wanna to click on Force Run. All right, and now it brings up this menu that looks like this. Let me get in a little bit closer here. There's a few different options, test cancel, force run, force defrost, and force defrost FD. Okay, you're gonna wanna select the one that says force defrost FD. Now when you do, it's gonna start making some chimes. So I'll show you the next step on how to kind of quiet that down or mute it uh, while it does its um, defrosting. So let's go ahead and tap on this. See those chimes? They're going on and off. So what you want to do is click back and then go back into the settings. All right, now go here to sounds on the settings. And here is system. Go ahead and just turn that down. Okay, and then let it run its course and do its defrosting. Okay, next you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and go back to home again. Go to that fridge manager icon once again. Tap on that. It'll take you back to the screen. We're gonna to wanna to go back to settings again. And then go ahead and turn off your ice maker while it's going through its defrost mode. It says ice maker will be off, proceed. And you just want to click on proceed to confirm it. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and click back and back again. And we'll just wait for it to do its thing. Now you're going to want to let that run for about 30 minutes and then we'll come back to it. Okay. Now that you've waited for a little bit of time now and the sound has stopped beeping, you're going to want to go back into settings like that. Go up to your sounds and click on sounds and go ahead and get your system uh, sounds back on to where they were, like so. And then we'll go ahead and click back. All right, and then we're gonna go back into the fridge manager here. And so we'll tap on that, go here, and then we're going to make sure that the ice is back on. So on fridge manager, go to settings, and then turn your ice maker back on. All right, so make sure those two things are back on. Now go back and then go to fridge manager here. And then this is where we're gonna to want to tap back and forth. Engineer mode comes on. Okay, now we're gonna go into fridge function test into the force run. and then go to test cancel. 
Okay, and then just make sure that test cancel is selected. All right, and then you'll click back. And now you have defrosted your Samsung Smart, fr Smart Fridge manually. So hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, go ahead and click a thumbs up on it. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos all the time, and I'd love to have you back in the next one. Take care.